Recently, when I was doing my research, something interesting caught my attention. I was so amazed and shocked how easily on Fiverr people are generating over $100 to $200 per day with AI. I couldn't believe my own eyes, so I decided to do deep research for you who watch my video. If we look at this person's profile, he gets orders on a daily basis. Even if we look at his recent delivery, it was an hour ago. If we zoom in and view at his profile, he is simply providing AI-generated services on Fiverr. If we watch some of the videos, it may look hard to make, but you don't need any rocket science. It is quite easy to do. Look, some are even Fiverr choice, which means they are making more money. You can see there are a lot of sellers providing the same services and even getting orders consistently. Wait, this is not surprising at all. What is more surprising is there is no competition at all. Only 346 services. Can you even believe that? It's nothing. If you compare these services to something like data entry, it is not even 1% compared to it. Look at this number. 61,730 services are available. This is a huge number. The niches we have selected are not micro niches. They have huge audiences. If we go and check on YouTube, we can see people are live streaming this type of content and people are even watching it. If we check one of these channels, we can see that they are getting a good amount of views and subscribers. If we look at their oldest video, it was only a year ago. If you are curious about how much they're earning in a month or have doubts about monetization, let's check it out. Copy the channel URL, type in socialblade.com, paste the URL, and you can see their earnings. They are making 2K to 31K per month. If we look at their daily views, they are getting an average of 250K views, which is a good number. If we look at their daily estimated earnings, they are making around an average of $60 to 1K per day. If we take a closer look to their monthly views, the graph shows an upward trend, which indicates there is a potential number of viewers in this niche. Even the monthly subscriber graph shows an upward trend, which is a good sign. If you still have doubts about the new YouTube monetization policy, yes, you cannot monetize still images or stock video by looping it. If any YouTuber or fake guru tells you that you can monetize that type of content, just close the video and take a deep breath. But if you want to find out how to monetize this type of content, watch the full video and you will get your answer. Now for the video, we need an AI generated image. We have a lot of options available on the internet. We can use either a paid one or a free one. Of course, we are going to use a free one. I highly recommend using Leonardo AI. Leonardo AI is free to use. It will give you 150 credits when you first sign up, which will be enough for us to generate an image. Now let's generate an image. Let me type my prompt. A living room with high ceiling and a double glass window, waterfall view, realistic rooftop. I will leave my prompt in the description if you want to generate a similar result to mine. Now let's preview our AI generated image. I like the image. Yes, it generates something similar to what I'm looking for. But let me change my prompt and generate a new one. I'm looking for a cozy, peaceful, natural ambient images for the video. Now, let's preview our image one by one. Yes, I'm happy with my result. I like how it generates a different image by just adding a few words. Now, let's select one of the image you like. Always upscale your image before you download it. It will provide you with a high and better quality image. Now, let's download our image. If you have watched my previous video, then you know me. I always like to generate an extra images for a variation. It will always be helpful when you have a lot of different variations and choices. Now select one of the image, upscale it, and download it. Now let's move on to the next step. We need our image to look something like this. And for that, we need an image editor. You can use any editor that you are familiar with. I'm going to use Photopea. Photopea is a free to use online editor. You don't need to download or sign up to use it. You can simply use it online. Just drag and drop the image you want to edit. It's quite simple and a user-friendly. 
don't get overwhelmed. If you are using Photopea for the first time, just simply follow my instructor. Now select one of the options, either a polygonal lasso or a magnetic lasso. If you select the polygonal lasso, you have to draw the line by yourself manually. If you select the magnetic lasso, it will automatically detect the object and draw the line for you. We will be using both of them. When you finish selecting the area, just press backspace. It will remove the background. Do this to all corners of the window. You can also zoom in on the image for a more detailed view. It will help you in the final production. Make sure to mark every corner of the image. Don't miss even a small corner. When you finish with all the corners and all the areas, check once again properly. If you think you did a good job, it's time to download our image. Always export the image in PNG format. It will download your image in a high quality. Now let's move on to the next step. For the background, we need a copyright free videos. If you want to use the free option, you can go for Pexels, Pixabay, or Mixit. Those are my recommendations. They have really good and high quality images. Today, I will be using Pixabay. Search for relaxing waterfall in the search bar. Select one of the video and download it. Now, download four to five different waterfall video. Always have an extra option and backup. Now, we also need a sound effects for our video. Let's listen to a few of them. Not to worry, you will not receive any copyright claim for using it. You can use it in your video without getting any claim. I like this sound effect. Let me download it. Now we have to combine our image, video, and sound effects. For that, we need a video editing software. You can use any video editing software you like. There is no a specification. I prefer to use CapCut for my video editing. Now, open your video editing software and start importing all the necessary files. Now drag the waterfall videos into the timeline one by one. Now, trim the video by pressing Ctrl plus B. We have to make the video duration short, so it will be easy to preview our video later on. When you're done importing all the videos into the timeline, let's drag our PNG image. Now, let's preview our video. We can easily preview our videos one after another with this trick. Hey, if you are still on the video and you think you have learned something today, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. It will motivate me to bring even more valuable content in the future. So please support me by subscribing. I have also a giveaway running on my channel for $2,500. I will be giving away to one of my lucky subscribers or viewers when my channel hits 100K subscribers. Feel free to join the giveaway. Okay, let's get back to the video. I like this one. Now we need to adjust our image to the video length. You can also adjust your video position manually if you want. Now let's drag the sound effect to the timeline and adjust the volume somewhere around minus four to five dB. If your sound effect audio length is too short, don't worry, you just need to copy the audio by pressing control plus C and paste the audio into the timeline by pressing control plus V. Now, all you need to do is adjust the sound effect and fit it to the timeline with the video length. After you finish the adjustment, select all the clips that are in the timeline and make one single compound clip. Now let's add some color adjustments to our video and make it more natural. If you don't know what to do with all these features, just drag the fader left and right and adjust it yourself. Don't overdo it. It is just a trial and error process. This is just an optional. You can skip this process. For me, I always like to give an extra touch to my video. When you finish with the color adjustment, now let's add some background music. Go to Pixabay and search for relaxing piano music. Listen to a few of them and download the one you like. Now, import your music. Add it to the timeline and adjust the music to the video length. For the smooth transitions, drag the fade out to 4.5 seconds and don't forget to reduce the music volume. Adjust the music with the video and don't forget to check the video before you export it. If you are happy with the final output, rename it and export it to your PC. Now for the Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts, we need to change our video dimension. 
Select a 9 is to 16 ratio. Increase the scale until it fits to the screen. And now we need to add keyframes to give our video a movement. So it will look more natural and smooth. You have to also move the video with keyframes. When you finish adding all the keyframes, it looks something like this. Now let's export our video. For hour long video, you have to loop the same video up to your desired duration. Comment down below if you want part two or a continuation of this video. Thank you. 